to the show. Great to be here. You uh, just got back from D.C., yes? Just got off Amtrak. Just got off Amtrak. I'm sure you do that trip a fair amount. You grew up here. Grew up you in Brooklyn. Grew up in Brooklyn. You represent uh, Brooklyn, part of Queens. Uh, Brooklyn, I imagine, has changed a fair amount since you grew up there? Absolutely. Well, Brooklyn's a great place. You know, uh, we gave the world Jackie Robinson, Shirley Chisholm, Coney Island, <laughs> Junior's Cheesecake, and the notorious B.I.G. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty, com That's pretty, pretty good rich. combination. Yeah. Yeah. And does it still feel like home when you get back here? It does. It's changing a lot. And one of the challenges that, you know, we all are working through uh, is making sure that we can maintain the diversity that has made Brooklyn such a special place. You know, we want to continue to be a collection of neighborhoods where working families, middle class folks, senior citizens, young people who are starting out, uh, artists can continue to call Brooklyn home. So we have a a real affordable housing crisis that we have to address. Uh, you obviously mentioned right there the value of diversity. Well, you talked last night about Donald Trump and uh, his comments about Ilhan Omar, your colleague. Uh, what's your response to when you saw that and uh, also your response to what seems to be a more muted reaction to it from your Republican colleagues? Well, those were very dangerous uh, and divisive remarks that were made. And words have consequences, particularly when delivered by the so-called leader of the free world. And there are people uh, who can inspire and incite to do violent things. And so I think my colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle would do well in calling up their president and saying, cut it out. You're going to get someone hurt. Uh, we feel like uh, we're going to continue to denounce the outrageous behavior when it occurs. But we need partners on the other side of the aisle. And we need people to start saying, you know what? There are certain things where this is not a Democratic issue or Republican issue. It's an American issue. And let's put, let's put America, let's put country ahead of party. You... Obviously, that one of the stories this week was, was Donald Trump sort of calling out uh, the squad, these four progressive members uh, of, the, uh, of Congress. Uh, earlier in the week, it seemed like there was some uh, conflict within the Democratic uh, Party. Uh, progressives may be feeling a little bit overlooked by leadership or maybe leadership working to, to undercut the enthusiasm for maybe progressive ideas. I know you guys put out a statement today, different, fraction, uh, different factions, I should say, of the uh, Democratic Party. Is there, uh, is there internal conflict in the party right now? Well, we represent the gorgeous mosaic of the American people. And so from time to time, there are going to be differences of opinion because we are incredibly diverse. This is the most diverse Congress in the history of the country. More women serving in Congress than ever before. More African Americans, more Latinos, more Asian Americans, more Native American women and more members of the LGBTQ community than ever before. And the diversity is only on the Democratic side. Yeah. And as a result of that... They have uh, more, I think they have more Dans than ever before. Aren't they? <laughs> That's absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. But um, despite our different life experiences and the differences of perspective, we're united behind a common purpose. We have a for the people agenda. We want to lower health care costs. We want to protect the more than 130 million people who have pre-existing conditions. And the Trump administration wants to take away that health care protection. That's reckless. We're going to stop it. Uh, we want to drive down the high cost of life-saving prescription drugs. We want a real infrastructure plan that we believe can create up to 16 million good-paying jobs. These are the things that unite Democrats uh, and will continue to unite us moving forward against the aggressive conservatism that's coming out of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue.